And welcome back. I'm here with Dr. Daphne Spires, the fat doctor, and today we are talking about the carnivore diet. And I hear the men, the other guests in there, they huh. like this diet a lot. Okay, well, <laughs> well, thanks, Ashley, for having me. Well, um, so kind of what is the carnivore diet? Yeah. So the carnivore diet, I like to start out this way. So our gut, our stomach, our small intestine, and our colon from a size, a shape, and function standpoint are actually much more like a cat, a dog, a lion, or a wolf than they are like a cow, a sheep, a chimpanzee, or a gorilla. We have a very different gut in the sense that we don't really have the enzymes capable that we make ourselves of breaking down raw plant material. But we do have all the enzymes needed to break down animal-based tissue, all right, so animal-based foods. Mm -hmm. And so really the carnivore diet is a diet where you focus on essentially eating animal-based foods to the exclusion, which means it's super strict, of eating plant-based foods. Mm -hmm. um, and, so, and, and because of that, the carnivore diet is the cleanest way to eat. It seems like everywhere you hear today about people being sensitive to gluten and mm -hmm. gluten-free diets and celiac disease, and but when you take out the plants, you're removing those things like the glutens, the gliadins, and the lectins that can be very irritating to the gut lining, causing leaky gut, which leads us to all kinds of stuff crossing from the gut into the blood that shouldn't. It causes inflammatory responses. When you eat carnivore, you're eating in a way that allows the gut lining to heal. The problem, it takes about 45 days to get there. So when I recommend carnivore diet, I recommend it as an elimination diet to heal the gut for at least about 45 days. Um, in terms of what's in the carnivore diet, there's all kinds of different beliefs in that, all right? So there's, there, there's differences of opinions. The hardcore carnivores, they do red meat, water, and salt. All right. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a little more liberal in the sense that I just want you to eat animal-based foods, which can include like eggs and bacon and cheese and butter and, and fish and seafood and all that kind of stuff, just as long as it's animal-based because I like the variety, All right, mm -hmm. because people feel like if I just eat the same thing over and over again, I'll get bored. But we also want the nutrition. Like ancient peoples that ate this way, they ate from nose to tail. They consumed the entire animal. So we've got to mm -hmm. make sure it's like eating stuff like organ meats. Most people would be like, Ugh, no yeah, way. Yeah, right? they ate the brains and yeah, everything. Yeah, but, but, yes. but they did, and they were wonderfully healthy. You know, mm -hmm. one last little bit. So there's a study that came out of Harvard that was published, I think, in November of last year that looked at, I think it was 2,000 people who have been on a carnivore diet for, on average, about 14 months. All right? And what they found is like, like I think I want to say 92% either reduced or completely eliminated all their medications, right? So it said there, so 5% had adverse symptoms, 95% saw improvements, but everything from their BMI, HDL, triglycerides, reduction in blood sugar, reduction in all kinds of medication, it just, mm -hmm. an increase in overall well-being. So this is something new, mm -hmm. but it's very, very old, all right, uh -huh. that we're just kind of relearning. It's very interesting. Now, how can someone get more information? We'd love to hear from you. We're at The Fat Doctor. It's www.thefatdoctor.com, or you can reach us on Instagram or Facebook. All right, Dr. Spires, thanks so much for coming. It's great to see you. Yeah, thanks for having me.